Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of x power 12 if x equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And just keep in your mind that this ratio 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 is called a golden ratio. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this golden ratio. And here I have copied it down as you can see. Let me go ahead and make it a fraction on the left hand side by just putting one underneath this x. And now we are going to cross multiply. And if we cross multiply we are going to get 2x equals to 1 plus square root of 5. Now we are going to isolate this radical part so therefore I am going to move this one on the other side so this is going to become 2x minus 1 equals to square root of 5. And now let's take square on both side power 2 on this side and power 2 on this side as well. And now we are going to use this formula a minus b square on the left hand side. So this could be written as 4x square minus 4x plus 1 equals to this square and square root they undo each other. We simply ended up with the 5. Now let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides. This 5 and negative 5 they are gone. So we ended up with 4x square minus 4x minus 4 equal to 0. Now we can see that each and every term is divisible by 4. So I can divide by 4 across the board. So we simply ended up with this 4 and 4 is gone with this thing. So we ended up with x square. So same thing over here, negative x. And that is going to give us negative 1 equal to 0. Now we want to isolate x square. I'm going to remove these x, negative x and negative 1 on the other side. So that means we are going to have x square becomes x plus 1. And now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this x power 12. We are going to manipulate this one. And here I have copied down x power 12 and this could be written as x power 2 and then power 6 because we can write as a nested exponent. And now let's focus on this x square. I am going to replace it by this x plus 1 from this equation 1. So this could be written as x plus 1 and then power 6. Now once again we are going to tweak this thing. I can write this x plus 1 power 6 as x plus 1 square and then power 3. And now let's go ahead and apply this a plus b square formula to expand this binomial. So this could be written as x square plus 2x and then plus 1 and then whole power 3. And now once again wherever we see x square I am going to replace it by x plus 1 from this equation 1. So therefore this could be written as x plus 1 and then I'm going to leave these one as it is plus 2x plus 1 and then power 3. And this in turns could be written as 3x plus 2 whole power 3. And now this could be written as if we tweak it a little bit 3x plus 2 power 2 and then 3x plus 2 power 1. And now let's use this formula once again. So the left hand side this part is going to be written as 
x square plus 12 x plus 4 and then times I'm going to leave this one as it is 3 x plus 2 now we can see that x square once again showed up so I am going to replace it by x plus 1 from this equation 1 so this could be written as 9 times x plus 1 and then plus 12 x plus 4 and then times 3 x plus 2 and in this next step I have just distributed this 9 so this becomes 9 x plus 9 and then 12x plus 4 and I left everything same as it is and on the left hand side we got x power 12 and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we got 21x plus 13 times 3x plus 2 now let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials by using a double distribution so we are going to get 63x square plus 42x plus 39x plus 26 and here in this next step i have combined these two like terms and we got 81x now we can see that once again this x square showed up so I'm going to replace it by x plus 1 once again. So this could be written as 63 times x plus 1 plus everything is going to be same 81x plus 26. Let's go ahead and distribute these ones so we are going to get 63x plus 63 plus 81 x plus 26 so if we combine the like terms on the right hand side we are going to get 144 x plus 89 so finally we got x power 12 equals to 144 x plus 89 and now we are going to replace this x by this fraction 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and replace that one. So 144 times here I'm going to write down 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and then plus 89. And here 2 and 144 reduced to 70 so therefore we got 72 times 1 plus square root of 5 plus 89 let's go ahead and distribute this one so we are going to get 72 plus 72 times square root of 5 plus 89 9 so thus our x power 12 value turns out to be if we combine these uh, like terms so 161 plus 72 square root of 5 so thus our x power 12 value turns out to be a 161 plus 72 times square root of 5 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.